In the near future, a bunch of meteorites crash on an Australian and release a heavily contagious virus that transforms humans into zombies. It spreads quickly because it travels in the air, however people with blood type A can only be infected with a bite. Soon people all over the place are getting infected and killing each other in barbaric ways. A few scientists team up with the army to develop a cure by experimenting on survivors. One of their subjects is Brooke, who has managed to escape from the lab and has become a hybrid with the ability to telepathically control zombies. Later in the middle of the forest, sisters Maxie and Grace find Brooke attacking a bunch of soldiers and try to stop her, but Brooke responds by biting Grace in the neck. Barry immediately pulls her back and hands her a vial of blood. As soon as she drinks it, she calms down. Grace still doesn't trust them and shoots an arrow, but Barry catches it with his hand. After calling them monsters, Grace and Maxie go away. Meanwhile Reese wakes up at his base and goes through his daily routine. After his morning exercise, he takes the antiviral medicine and suits up with a soldier's uniform and weapons. As soon as he comes out, he's attacked by zombies, so he opens fire to shoot them down. Soon a horde surrounds the fence, but Reese ignores them while he checks on the zombies connected to the machinery in his base. By feeding them meat, he keeps the zombies moving and breathing fuel, which in turn powers up all his machines. He even uses a zombie as a sparring opponent. Later he throws meat pretty far to lure the zombies outside away, then he leaves in his armored truck. Using the truck's radio, the army sends him a message about a potential catch, and Reese immediately gets his weapon ready to shoot at an incoming hybrid man on a bike. The guy crashes and Reese goes after him, capturing him and taking him to the military bunker where they're trying to find a cure. The soldiers take the dude away but also retrieve a zombie that Reese keeps in his truck for fuel, sending it down to the lab through the tunnel shuttle. The Surgeon General explains they've found the location of Brooke, so they ask Reese to catch her for the experiments. She's also the one who killed Reese's brother, so he wants revenge and to be paid with more antiviral medicine. Suddenly the Surgeon General's hand starts moving weirdly, but he just blames it on a cramp in the meantime, Grace and Maxie are driving away as fast as possible, but the bite is causing Grace unbearable pain and soon she becomes a zombie too. She immediately begins losing it, so Maxie feeds her a vial of blood to calm her down and gives her another one for later. At that moment, their car is hit by an explosive, making it flip and knocking Maxie out. It turns out to be Reese, who comes closer to capture them only to be hit by a grenade thrown by Grace. Reese protects himself with his shield, which also comes in handy when Grace starts attacking him with her bat and a gun. When she runs out of bullets, Reese hits her twice and shoots to knock her out. Then he takes her away in his truck, not realizing he's left Maxie behind. Meanwhile in the lab, it's revealed that the Surgeon General severely hurts the subjects for his experiments. After electrocuting a woman, he inserts a metal rod into her nose and extracts a bunch of fluids, which he then injects into his arm. He's already infected, and he's been using these temporary injections to stop his transformation. Suddenly the door opens and the colonel plus another soldier catch the surgeon red-handed. The soldier tries to arrest the surgeon, but the colonel shoots him, revealing he's also infected and working together with the surgeon to find a cure. Back to Reese, he's driving away when suddenly Grace wakes up and grabs Reese's neck with her legs. She's starting to lose control so Reese pushes her off and grabs his gun, but Grace drinks the blood vial and calms down. Reese realizes she's also a hybrid and immediately knocks her out. Moments later they make it to the lab, but when the soldiers try to grab Grace, she starts fighting back until a soldier manages to knock her down. Grace is still losing control, so Reese feeds her again with a blood vial, calming her down before she's sent to the lab. Afterward Reese leaves, but soon his truck gets stuck. He checks his fuel zombie and notices the creature isn't responsive, so he tries feeding it some meat to no avail. Then Reese throws the zombie out and raises the spoon with meat, hoping the smell will attract another zombie. Not far from there, a zombie falls for the trap and gets moving without noticing Maxie secretly following it. As soon as the zombie finds the truck, Reese shoots it down and connects it to his vehicle to finally leave, unaware that Maxie has jumped in the back of his truck. Next Reese drives to an army warehouse, where the soldiers use a zombie to power up a machine gun that shoots down any zombie that dares come closer. The warehouse workers hand him a box to be delivered to the lab, luckily Maxie hides under the truck before they can see her. At the lab, Grace wakes up and is horrified to discover the test subjects are killed for the experiments. The surgeon is currently sleeping, but his hand is moving on its own and punches him awake. The hand just keeps going, attacking the surgeon as he has to defend himself from his own limb. When he manages to catch his hand between his legs, he uses some tape to hold it there, then he starts extracting more hybrid fluids to get another injection. Later in the afternoon, Reese returns to his base and throws out some meat to move the zombies away from his fence so he can go inside. When the zombies try to come back, Reese turns on some really bright lights to keep them at bay. Once he makes it home, he opens the delivery box they gave him and finds a weird device inside. Afterward he decides to end the day with a relaxation tape, however the power suddenly goes out. Reese comes out to quickly fix the generator, and when he returns to his room, he's knocked out by Maxie. The next morning, Reese awakens tied up, and Maxie immediately points her weapon at him, demanding to be taken to Grace. Maxie takes Reese to the truck, and after taking his gun, 
She makes him drive through the gate instead of opening it properly. On their way to the lab, Reese waits for Maxie to get distracted and pulls a lever, which kicks her out of the car. Then he quickly shoots her down and ties her up to keep her under control for the rest of the trip. When they finally make it to the lab, the surgeon is busy killing another hybrid so he sends out the colonel instead. A soldier grabs Maxie from the truck and mentions she'll end up in a barrel, which makes Reese suspicious and he demands an explanation, but the colonel just tells him to leave. Reese pretends to return to his truck but he actually grabs his weapon to shoot everyone down and give the colonel a few kicks before rescuing Maxie and driving away. All this is seen by Grace on the lab security cameras. Moments later, an army truck is chasing Reese down the road. The soldiers soon open fire, so Maxie grabs a weapon and shoots back, keeping them at bay. After some struggling Reese finally manages to activate the car's booster, which allows them to gain great speed and get away from the soldiers. Unfortunately the military truck turns out to have the same nitro system and quickly catches up to them. Maxie pulls the lever to kick herself out right before the soldiers shoot down the truck and Reese faints. When he wakes up, Reese finds himself tied to a tree and the colonel keeps shooting at him for fun while calling him a traitor. There's a horde of zombies approaching, so the colonel and his men go away, leaving Reese to be eaten. In just a few seconds, the zombies are surrounding Reese, so he uses all his daily training to keep his legs up and out of reach. Unfortunately he's tired and in pain, so eventually he loses strength and his legs fall. The zombies are about to bite him when suddenly they freeze, it turns out Maxie has brought Barry and Brooke, who is controlling the zombies with her powers. Reese faints again and wakes up later tied up at Barry's base, where Brooke keeps some zombies as her personal army. Barry hits him for what he did to Grace, but since Maxie said he saved her life, he'll keep Reese alive for now. Brooke is still angry though and tackles Reese to the ground to threaten him, causing Reese to agree to work for them. The next day, the group goes to the warehouse, where Reese shares everything he knows about their security. He also explains he didn't know they were killing the test subjects, otherwise he wouldn't have brought them to the lab. When Brooke gets too aggressive, Barry calms her down with a vial of blood. Then Brooke uses her ability to control the zombie connected to the machine gun, who immediately steals a gun and kills the guards at the front door. Afterward the group goes inside and quickly captures all the workers with the help of the zombies, but Reese can only stare in shock when he finds the man he brought the other day inside a barrel. Furious, he beats up a scientist for answers, and he's horrified to learn that after the surgeon extracts the fluids for the serums, they grind down the bodies to make the antiviral medicine. A disgusted Reese shoots the scientist repeatedly, then punches Barry and demands to be taken to the lab so they can kill them all. Moments later, the team arrives at the lab and pretends they've brought Brooke as a prisoner, they also send two zombies inside through the tunnel shuttle as if they were more test subjects. As three soldiers come out, Brooke activates her power and makes the zombies inside start fighting the guards before activating two grenades. Then Reese truck opens to reveal Maxie with the machine gun and the whole team opens fire to kill the soldiers. Seeing this on the security cameras, the colonel presses a button to close the front door but Barry immediately hijacks its mechanism to get it stuck. Afterward they send two zombies covered in grenades to keep cleaning up the way inside, and Maxie follows them through the tunnel shuttle while Brooke, Barry, and Reese go through the front door. Soon Maxie finds a vent and crawls through it until she finds the man in charge of the security cameras, so she quickly kills him and opens all the inner lab doors. Now the trio can go further into the lab, and they kill a few soldiers before releasing a few zombies from a cage. Brooke can sense Grace behind the last door which is still locked, but Reese fumbles with the control panel until he gets it open, although he accidentally hits Barry with a cabinet in the process. Next Brooke moves ahead with the zombies but the door immediately closes behind them, revealing it was a trap. At that moment, the surgeon releases a powerful cyborg zombie, which is being controlled by a device the surgeon wears on his body. Brooke sends her zombies after it, but the cyborg is too powerful and quickly kills them all off, so Brooke has to fight it herself. Unfortunately she isn't strong enough either and the cyborg quickly overpowers her, but when it's about to kill her, the surgeon's hand starts acting out again. It turns out Grace also has the power and she uses it to control the hand making it punch the surgeon over and over. Because of the device link, the cyborg does the same thing to itself, and Brooke uses the chance to smash its head. Grace also controls two zombies to help her attack the surgeon, then she makes the hand start choking the man. However the surgeon uses his other hand to reach his metal rod and electrocutes Grace, making her faint. Then the cyborg recovers and pins Brooke against the wall. Meanwhile the colonel arrives with Maxie as his hostage and makes Barry and Reese drop their guns. Then the colonel hits Maxie and shoots Barry, who is still alive but in horrible pain. Reese activates the cabinet again to hit the colonel, then he starts fighting him hand to hand. The men exchange several hits but when Reese is about to get the upper hand, the colonel uses the cabinet to bring him down. Barry tries to crawl to reach his weapon, but the colonel sees him and picks him up to pinch his wounds. When Barry manages to headbutt him, Reese grabs the colonel from behind, only for the colonel to tackle Reese and start punching him. Thankfully Barry saves him by activating the cabinet once more. The colonel is pushed away yet he doesn't give up. But when he's about to shoot Reese, Brooke tears off the wires from the electricity supply and electrocutes the cyborg, causing the power to go out. 
As the colonel shoots in the darkness, the computer activates the emergency power, and Maxi appears next to the colonel to blow up his head. While the surgeon makes a call for backup, the team reunites with Brooke, who has gone crazy and tries to attack Maxi. The girl immediately gets inside a cage for safety and the guys run back to the corridor, closing the door. They realize all the blood vials cracked, but thankfully there's a refrigerator in the room filled with blood bags. Quickly opening the door, Barry shoots Brooke to push her back and Reese rushes in, only to slip on the blood. By the time he reaches the refrigerator is too late, Brooke has jumped on Barry and bitten him. Reese hurries to push her off him and Maxie opens a blood bag on her face, finally calming her down. Afterward the group keeps moving, only to find the surgeon leaving in the tunnel shuttle with Grace. At that moment a grenade left by the surgeon explodes and the team gets severely hurt, but nobody dies. On the security cameras, Reese notices the surgeon leaving with the newly arrived backup, but suddenly the screens go black and the computer announces the start of the self-destruct sequence as it locks all the doors. There are only 30 seconds left, and Barry is already turning into a zombie, so Brooke comes up with a plan. She connects Barry to the computer and then puts Reese and Maxie in the tunnel shuttle, which Barry activates with the fuel of his breath. The duo makes it outside right before the lab explodes, killing Barry and Brooke. Reese finds a motorcycle with a zombie attached, so he grabs a soldier's body to feed the creature and get the vehicle moving. Meanwhile the surgeon and his men go to Reese's base to find the box with the device. They chain Grace to a table and then connect the device to both her and the surgeon's noses, which starts transferring all of Grace's blood directly into the surgeon's body. Getting suspicious, a soldier checks the surgeon's arm and sees he was bitten, but it's too late, the surgeon has become a hybrid too. He immediately shoots both soldiers, and by the time Reese and Maxie arrive, they only see Grace. While Maxie grieves for her sister, the surgeon surprises Reese from behind and headbutts him to knock him down. Then the surgeon drags Maxie into a cage before he starts fighting Reese hand to hand, using his new strength to overpower him while making fun of him for not suspecting anything for a full year. Soon the surgeon manages to tackle Reese down and is ready to crush his skull, but at that moment Grace wakes up and stabs him with a piece of metal. Then she uses her own hybrid power to tear the surgeon apart. When she's done she tries to attack Reese, but fortunately she finds a blood bag he kept in his vest and drinks it, quickly calming down. While Grace reunites with her sister, Reese notices the surgeon is still alive even if his body is split in two, so he shoots him in the head to finally kill him for good. Then Reese starts coughing, but when he looks at the medicine, he remembers the atrocities and throws it away. He decides to self-delete for his sins, but when he raises his gun, Grace stops him. Maxie tells him to take the medicine anyway so he can keep fighting with them, that way he can wash away his sins by helping people. Reese agrees and takes the medicine. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.